This time I will create a colored manga based on the previously done line drawing. To change the basic expression color, I use the Edit menu, Canvas Properties, and change it to Color. Since this manga manuscript has its basic expression color set to monochrome, I need to change this for the whole canvas. In order to make coloring easier, I will hide all the layers except for the line art. This includes speech balloons, hand-drawn letters and effect lines. Then I create a new layer and place it underneath the sketch layer. I select the Refer Other Layers from the Fill Tool group. From the color wheel I select a skin tone. The skin will be the first to receive its color. If there are small unpainted areas, it's easier to use fill, close and fill or paint unfilled areas and paint as if you are creating a selection or paint with a pen. I'll fill in the other parts as well. For each new color, I create a new layer. Since the base colors are done now, I continue with drawing the shadows. I create a new layer folder and move the newly colored layers into that. After that, I create a new layer above the layer folder and activate Clip at Layer below in the layer palette. I select the blending mode multiply while choosing a slightly bluish color to paint in the shadows. I switch between the pen and the fill tool to paint. And that concludes drawing the shadows. Next, I will make correction to the drawing other than the characters created in the monochrome manga. I'll start by changing the effect lines. I select the effect line layer and change the expression color to color in the layer property palette.
To change the color of the effect lines, I use the object tool and in the tool property palette, I change the main color to blue. The lines still don't have any anti-aliasing, so to change that, I open the Subtool Details palette and turn on Anti-Aliasing. This applies anti-aliasing to the effect lines. I also move the slider for brush size to make the lines thicker altogether. Like that, I change the effect lines and tones to suit the colored page. I will also change the color of the start pattern created with the decoration tool before. This element is drawn on a normal raster layer, so the procedure is a bit different. First, I'm going to change the expression color in the layer property palette. After selecting a color from the color palette, I just select the Edit menu, Change Color of Line Color to Drawing, and change it. Next, I will also add color to the hand drawn letters. In the Layer Property palette, I again change the expression color first. I only want to change the border color, so I select the layer of the drawn letters and change the color of the border in the layer property palette to red. In this panel, I would like to have a more extreme expression, so I will add new effect lines in color. First, I'm going to hide everything but the two main characters. I use Auto Select, Refer Other Layers, then click the blank parts of the frame and select the background. By clicking Fill on the Selection Launcher, I paint the panel in with yellow. Next, I'm going to select the Balloon Tool, Flash and Sea Urchin Flash. Change the color to a light blue and add the flash, the same way I would add the circle. I can select the flash with the object tool and adjust the size and density with the values in the tool property palette afterwards. Now I will display the previously hidden layers again. And this is how I add color. I decided to also change the colors of the main outlines from black to another color. Select the layer with the line drawing and select a dark blue from the color wheel. Go to the Layer Property Palette and activate the layer color. Then, click on the color display and change all lines to the selected blue color.
In the following, I will show you how to create a background using a 3D object. From the window menu, I open the material palette and drag and drop the 3D model of a car onto the canvas. To match the size and layout I have in mind, I use the buttons in the upper left of the 3D model and operate the camera with them. For better visibility, I turn off Apply Light Source in the Tool Property Palette. Then I open the Layer menu and Rasterize Layer to rasterize the 3D model. I select Edit, Tonal Correction and Posterization for adjustments and eventually click Execute the Posterization. Additionally, I duplicate the layer and clip it to the one below. I change the expression color to monochrome and adjust the gradation. By activating the layer color in the layer property palette, I give the layer contents a dark blue color. In between the original and the duplicated layer, I add another new layer. Using the eyedropper, pen and eraser tool, I fix up the background. Next, I'm going to add a material to create a background of a sky with clouds. With the window menu, I'm opening up the material palette and I choose color patterns. And from the background folder, I'm dragging and dropping the image material of a blue sky onto the canvas. The size of the image can be adjusted by moving the handles of the image. You can even distort the image by using Free Transform in the Tool Property Palette in the drop-down menu for how to transform and operate in the handles. This is one way to change a monochrome manga page into a colored one and add in new color elements. 
With that, the colored manga page is finished. Once the document is finished, I'm going to save it. I select the file menu Save or Save As, change the file name if necessary, and select a file extension. The structure of the layers can only be preserved in certain formats, such as the Clip Studio or Photoshop format. First, to preserve the layer structure, I will save it in the Clip Studio format. When exporting this document for upload on the internet, I select the File menu, Export Single Layer, and then I choose between JPEG or PNG. In the Export Detail settings, I only check the text box for the output image element. Make sure that the expression color is set to RGB color. As this canvas is too large for the web, it needs to be made smaller. Under Output Size, I change the unit of the document to PX and set the height to 1000 PX. Then I click OK to export it. Now this document can be published on the web. Clip Studio Paint has many convenient features for drawing manga for you to use. There are more videos where I introduce drawing color illustrations and how to make use of some very useful functions. Please have a look!